please note this point every differentiable function is continuous but a continuous function need not be differentiable so what does it mean if a function is continuous right continuous means uh, like this um, okay so I'll just talk about the informal definition so according to the informal definition what did we see about continuity there should be no jumps right as well as there should be no cuts which means the holes right now what about differentiability differentiability says that there should be no jumps and no cuts no cuts means no holes as well as the curve should be smooth isn't it now if you observe it if a function happens to be differentiable then already there are no jumps and no cuts now what can you say it means that it is continuous right but if a function happens to be continuous then we know that there are no jumps and no cuts but then we don't know whether it is smooth or not therefore every continuous function may need not be you know differentiable but if it is known that it is differentiable it will definitely be continuous right now if you want to see it in uh, you know this venn diagram form then you can see it this way if a function is differentiable then it is both continuous as well as differentiable which means if you if you find if you think that this is a set of all differentiable functions and this is the set of all continuous functions if a function falls here which means if a function happens to be differentiable then definitely it is going to be continuous now if a function falls here it means that there is a function i mean i mean to say that there are some functions which will fall here which means there are some functions which will be continuous but not you know differentiable now let's see one such example so if you want to see any such example if you have a graph like this for f of x then all, continuous it is definitely continuous because there are no cuts there are no holes but it is not differentiable because at this point at this corner point you cannot have a unique uh, tangent therefore the slope of the tangent is not going to be unique right so now if you look at this example it is exactly that way if you see f of x f of x is going to be this way right so at this point definitely it will not be continuous or differentiable it is definitely continuous but not differentiable now how to find it out find out the left derivative find out the right derivative and then see if they are equal or not so according to the definition what is the left derivative limit h tends to 0 f of 0 minus h minus f of 0 divided by minus h now 0 minus h is rare so which is nothing but minus h so in place of mod x i am going to bet i am going to substitute mod minus x minus h minus 0 divided by minus h so we know that since h is a small number which is positive minus h is going to be negative therefore in order to convert it to back to positive we are going to have h here so it is going to be h by minus h which means minus 1 see only thing about uh, mod x that you should be remembering is once you remove mod x whatever result you get that should be a positive number right and since h is a positive number see h is a small difference that we are seeing right that we are taking in all the cases right so h is always positive wherever we use h in this limits h is always positive right whenever we say limit h tends to zero now since h is positive minus h is going to be negative now after applying the mod output should be positive that is why it is h h by minus h which is minus one now the right hand limit is uh, limit h tends to 0 f of 0 plus h minus f of 0 by h now it is going to be limit h tends to 0 mod h divided by h since h is positive even if you remove this mod you are going to get h only right h by h equal to 1 so if you observe it left side limit is left side derivative is going to be minus 1 and right side derivative is going to be plus 1 so both are not equal and you can say that it is not differentiable or derivable at that point at what point 0 so that is what at 0 only we are talking about it now one more thing one you know one other shortcut you could use is but this shortcut can be applied only when a function is continuous if you know that a function is continuous then you can use this shortcut so what is the shortcut is find out directly f dash of x okay now once you find out f dash of x then you can find out what its value is at a minus and a plus 
if these two are equal we can say that the function is differentiable or derivable at this point a otherwise it is not differentiable or derivable at that point right so now for this example what you could do is find out f dash of x so what is f dash of x if f of x equal to mod x f dash of x is going to be mod x by x this is f dash of x right now we are talking about 0 at a point 0 so you are supposed to find out f dash of 0 minus f dash of 0 minus right and then f dash of 0 plus now what is f dash of 0 minus the value of this function at a negative number right so whenever i give negative x if x is negative then output is going to be minus x isn't it minus x by x is going to be minus 1 are you getting this so whenever i say f dash of 0 minus it means that i am substituting a value which is less than 0 which means i am substituting a negative number here now whenever i substitute a negative number then what will be the uh, mod x value so since inside number is negative you have to multiply it with minus 1 when you remove it because the total number has to be positive right so therefore when you when you multiply it with minus 1 this value is going to be minus x by x which means here it is going to be minus 1 now what about f of f dash of 0 plus f dash of 0 plus means here you are you are going to substitute in place of x a positive number so whenever you substitute a positive number you can directly remove the mod without using any sign right therefore the it is going to be x by x which means it is going to be 1 right so these two are not equal here also you can say it this way if you didn't understand what i you know told you here you could also write it this way see since f dash of x equal to mod x by x then you could write it as if it is f dash of x equal to now what happens when x is less than 0 and what happens when x is greater than 0 you can write it like this and you can evaluate it now if x is less than 0 what happens since it is x is a negative number isn't it now you have to multiply it with minus 1 if you remove this mod then you have to multiply with minus 1 so that the entire number is going to be positive after you remove it right then what happens minus x by x which means minus 1 here now what about the other side if you substitute x a positive number if you are going to put x equal to you know some positive then it is going to be directly x mod x is going to be x so in that case it is going to be 1 right so even by this you can even get show that minus 1 and 1 are there so not equal so you can say that it is not differentiable got it so this is an example of a function which is continuous but not differentiable so why did it happen because of this because of this corner point you are talking about what happens at the corner point got it and now uh, which means the function falls here there are functions there will be functions which are continuous as which are not differentiable but then you will not be able to find any function which is differentiable but not continuous right so remember this theory point okay fine